senseless act of vandalism, a landmark North Hollywood church has now become a crime scene. The, the vandal caused tens of thousands of dollars in damage, and CBS News' Candace Crone is live at the scene with a look at what happened there. Candace? Yeah, Jeff and Sharon, it's very unusual and even disappointing to see a church surrounded by crime tape. But take a look behind me. Our, the arson team, the FBI, and other law enforcement agencies are on scene investigating right now. Officers are even out and about patrolling the area, trying to find security camera video that will lead them to the suspect. I'm very sad. That Members of St. Charles Memorial Church showed up to mass this morning, only to learn it was canceled because someone vandalized their house of worship. This church is wonderful. So to have that vandalized when we are here to pray for the world, to pray for peace, to pray for conversion, that is uncalled for. Our Monsignor is very, very sick, so we have a new Monsignor. So this is the worst possible time that they could do something like this. Investigators say a homeless man broke a window to the church, went inside, and caused $100,000 worth of damage. The suspect also set a fire outside the building. A parishioner shared this picture with us from a previous mass, and you can see just how beautiful it is. That beauty now tarnished by a vandal. We had altars that were upended and turned. We had numerous glass items that were broken. There's a lot of religious artifacts that were damaged as well as uh, water and oil and uh, paper strewn about. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Police have no description of the suspect and are asking any witnesses to come forward. Parishioners are praying whoever is responsible for the vandalism will be brought to justice. We just finished $6 million renovation here. Everybody, this is a higher end church. Everybody's really, really close. You know, it's, this has to be random. And a nearby bank was also damaged. That's what led officers here to the church. That's how they found out about it being damaged as well. At this point, there's no indication that it's a hate crime, but they're puzzled as to why anyone would want to vandalize a church. Jeff and Sharon. Yeah. Candace, thanks Senseless. very much. It really is. Too bad.